I want to talk to you in this video, hopefully it's not too long, let's see how we go, about using pre-connects or the pre-connect directive to speed up third-party files and, and stuff that you're pulling in from other services. So for most websites, they're going to be downloading things like Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel, Tag Manager, probably have some opt-in stuff. Um, and a lot of the time that stuff can be quite slow because those services aren't necessarily speed optimized. So they can be a bit slower than stuff coming off your website. So I've got here on the screen, I've got one of our websites open and I've got the Auto Optimize plugin open. I'm on the extra tab here and you'll see there's this, this field here called pre-connect to third party domains. So pre-connect is like a, a directive or it's a HTML command that sits in the header section of the site when the browser comes across this, this pre-connect command, it goes and connects to the servers or the host names listed there. So you'll see here for this site, I've got fonts.googleapis, youtube.com, Google Tag Manager, connect.facebook.com, um, Convertbox, Google Analytics. So let me show you a, a site that you know hasn't had any pre-connects added to it. And you know it'll be pretty clear what are good candidates to, to kind of populate this box on your site. So I've got a speed test here from just a site I found in our speed test, sitespeedbot.com. Um, and in the waterfall view, which you might be familiar with if you've looked at speed test before, you'll see there's a bunch of files. And then if you hover over here, this is the time it took to download them. So some things like images that are coming directly off your website, you might have Cloudflare as well, are usually pretty fast. So you'll see this is pretty typical. If I hover over these, it tells me the total time to, to download that. So, you know, 70 milliseconds, 62 milliseconds, you know, some of them are as quick as 10, 12 milliseconds. So really fast. The fatter these lines are in the waterfall view, the slower that file is downloading or that transactional connection is happening. So you see here, Autopilot HQ, that one's much slower. We've got 70 milliseconds of DNS time, 407 seconds to connect, uh, make the SSL connection, and then it's waiting for 200 milliseconds. The total there is 824 milliseconds. So nearly a second just to download that file. You'll see here, ClickSees, which you might be familiar with, is a click fraud tool for, for AdWords and, and Facebook um, on big ads. And you'll see here, that was, this was also slow. So 169 milliseconds to do a DNS lookup, which was really, really slow. SSL 242, and then the total was 856 milliseconds. So again, nearly a second of time there to download that file. So there's nothing we can do to speed those up really because they're all controlled by third parties. Um, but what we can do is use the pre-connect command or pre-connect speed optimization and speed them up a little bit. So. Um, in, for this site, what we'd recommend doing is adding clickseas.com, api.autopilothq.com, getcourse.iljump.com into the pre-connects box here and auto-optimize. And what that will do, the browser will start connecting to them as soon as it sees that command rather than waiting to, to come across that code uh, um, or those files inside the HTML. So this is kind of the after result. So this is our site again. So just going back to the one that's connected that auto optimize. You can see here convert box or the CDN dot convert box. We're doing this work well in advance here. So we've moved it earlier in the loading process. So the line is split because we're doing some work in advance. So these are the pre-connect. So it's making the pre-connect here to Google Analytics. It's making the pre-connect here to convert box. Uh, you see here there's the fonts that's making the pre-connect command as well. Um, I think that covers it. There we go. So Google Tag Manager as well. So it's doing that work in advance. So particularly in this example I have over here, this is an Australian site. This speed test is done from Australia and it's pretty typical to see a lot of those third-party services being slow like that because they're hosted in the US. So, you know, there's just a geography thing you can't really get around there as well. And you can see we scroll down, there's more stuff that's going slow there too. So in this case, the pre-connect would speed those up and would speed up you know, what they're doing and the time for them to load. So um, I think this all makes sense. So you know, go through, run a speed test on your own site, have a look at what's fat in terms of the waterfall, the fat lines and things that are slow, and then go and add those into auto-optimize. So in this case, like, like I said, we'd grab autopilot, api.autopilothq.com, we'd grab clickseas.com, um, we probably grab some of these analytics things and, and um, uh, what else would we grab? We'll grab tag manager, see that. 
even though tag manager is still quite fast 282 milliseconds we can still speed that up you know we can do half of that work in advance if tag manager is in there um recapture is another one so you know we connect to www.google.com um, when you add that code in or when you add those host names in you need to add them in in this format so the https the full full uh, host name in there um, so then add them in there hit the save button clear the cache and then run the speed test again and you should see if they're working you should see them split up like there are in this one here so i think that all makes sense i hope so if not post in the comments below i, th I can clarify for you but that's how you had pre-connects what it does in a real life scenario and what sort of files or, or host names are good candidates to use as pre-connects.